Hey guys, it's the Frugal Nista doing a DIY in my eight-year-old's room, Mirabella's room. We are changing it up in here. There she is. There's my little pumpkin head. Guys, we are redoing Mirabella's room. We are taking her from her old toddler's room to uh, something a little bit more age-appropriate. She was tired of the butterflies, so uh, we we're doing a, a couple of minor things in here, changing out comforters, uh, putting up a few different, you know, pictures. But I had in mind to do a DIY, and that's what I'm doing this video about today. Uh, this lampshade that I'm focused on here is a glitter glitz out lampshade, guys, that I picked up from Michael's. It was on a lamp, actually, that was free to me. And if you know anything about the Frugal Nista, she does not like paying a lot for things that she, you know, wants. And now I don't even like paying anything for them, guys, because guess what? I get them for free. So... This lampshade came off of a lamp that I picked up for free from Michaels. And because the lamp was an actual acrylic piece, it was really a pretty lamp. I just took the shade off because I wanted her lamp to match her floor lamp in her room. Okay? And uh, these were the shades that came off her previous lamps here. She had a gingham pink and white. You know, really, really little girlish, girly color. So this was the lampshade that was on this, uh, her table lamp, and this is the lampshade that was on her floor lamp. So me having this glitzed out kind of glittery, uh, sparkly lampshade, I wanted another one to match or to kind of pull together the two lamps in the room. Um, now I don't like paying a lot of money for lamps, shades. I just don't see the point of it. So I, I kind of think I'm going to try to, uh, replicate or, you know, reproduce something that looks like this over here, okay? Come over here to this side of the room, and I think I have everything ready, okay? I picked this up from Michaels. Guys, I told you I was in Michaels um, the other day, and Michaels has, and all my crafters know about this, the Celebrated line carries, I call it glitz on a roll. Look at these little sparkles, guys. I've used this in several little DIYs in both the girls' rooms. And I said, well, I'm just going to go and see can I pick up some of this glitz on a roll. I paid $3.99 for this roll, the celebrated line. But when I was in line, I remember seeing doing that in that little dollar section, they had this. And it actually has an adhesive on it. Okay. Uh, both rolls have three yards. I don't know if it's going to focus for me, but that's three yards. And this is an adhesive trim. I only paid $1.50 for this one. And this one is also three yards, but I end up paying $3.99 for this one. Now, I'm going to keep it because, you know, in a house with girls, we'll always have glitz and glam covering something, projects or something. So I'm going to end up keeping this one, but I'm going to try and use this one on it. Now, the only difference that I can see between the two, you really can't really see a difference. Um, the spacing may be a little bit wider on this one than that one. But I, in this room, seriously, she's eight years old. I think it's going to be fine. Now, I'm going to try to attempt this project with my trusty E6000 if the adhesive doesn't work. I'm going to try it with the adhesive first and to see how you know stable it is. Uh, nobody will be bothering it. So I'm, I hope this adhesive works on this. And if it doesn't, I'm going to just go to my trusty E6000. Guys, I actually use this more than I do my glue gun. And if anybody knows anything about me, I have a glue gun and wheel travel. So this has actually replaced my glue gun, glue gun in a lot of instances. Um, and I didn't really start using this until a subscriber told me about it, uh, you know, um, a couple of months ago. And a few of you guys have told me about this. And I've been hooked ever since. I, I can't remember the last time I even connected my glue gun. This E6000 is really, really good. You can get it from craft stores. You guys probably already know about it. So this is a lampshade that I'm going to attempt to bling out. And I think I'm going to do it, guys, let me turn it off. I think I'm going to do it while it is still attached to the lamp. Now the first thing okay. I'm going to do is take um, all of the bling off of the roll to see if I have enough to fit on to my lampshade. Okay, guys, now I just kind of, um, you know, situated it on the lamp. Um, this is actually how it's going to look. It's going to be really pretty. I really like that look. And this is a $1.50 one that has uh, three feet. And if I do the measuring with a measuring stick, which I, I don't have, or a ruler, but just an estimate, this is how much three um, 
not three feet, but three yards of the um, glitter will cover the, you know, the top portion of my lamp shade. And what I was thinking about doing possibly is doing the top and the bottom of the lampshade only and leaving the white part, you know, the the middle part, because it is like a linen uh, lampshade, leaving the middle part, you know, open. So, um, yeah, either way, I'm going to have to make another trip back to my Michaels because I need more of this. But I think I may have some of this in the basement. So I will be back and let you know what I did. But, yeah, that's how I'm in the beginning stages, so that's how it's going to look, I think. Okay, guys, I'm back, and I just went shopping in my own house. Now, you remember that this is a trim I just picked up from Michaels. It has the adhesive trim uh, on the back, so you don't need the glue, hopefully. Went down to my basement, guys, and found a complete roll of this one, which is trim, which matches the original one with the adhesive that I have exactly. I found this roll, never been used, never opened, and I found this that's off a roll, so, which all matches. So I'm going to uh, use what I have. And while I was in the basement, guys, I have a lot of broken jewelry that I have found in my travels. This project could be done easily with because uh, you just want a sparkle effect. This can be done easily with broken jewelry, pearls. Um, I just think, you know, all of these elements to reuse and recycle would be, you know, a real cool look with this. So I'm going to see how much trim I have and start this project. Okay, okay, guys, as you can see, the trim comes off of um, the adhesive. Really, really cool. So I'm just going to peel down a little bit. I'm not going to peel it all off. I'm going to start at the back of the lamp and just begin to stick. Let's see how tacky it is. Oh, yeah, it sticks really good. Okay. And again, this is the one with the adhesive already attached. And I'm just letting it go a little bit. At a time. Okay, okay, guys, I'm getting a little closer, and I'll move my arm in a second so you guys can see as I get around to the other side. So I'm just going all the way around, pulling the adhesive off as I go. And uh, I'm doing this with my lampshade attached. Okay, so now I'm back around to the beginning point. And I just start a new line directly under the same line. Okay? Okay, guys, I am almost at the end. And I'm just still going around. The adhesive one, I suggest getting this one. This is working really, really well. It's very, very tacky. Um... And, I, again, I found this one near the register, so it, it wasn't with the other um, sets of ribbon. And this was only $1.50 for three yards versus almost $4 for the other one. I think I spent either $2.99 or $3.99. It might have been $2.99. So either way, you're getting the same amount with, with the glue attached already. Okay. There we go. And I'm going to work on the bottom okay, next. Okay, guys. I think that I've kind of changed my design a little bit because I don't have any more with the sticky. I recommend you getting the sticky kind. This is really, really a time saver. So now I'm going to start with my E6000. I'm going to start in the back. And this is the kind that just has the trim. And I'm going to try to do this, um, you know, on the lamp. And we'll see how that goes. Okay, so. And this does dry clear, so you don't have to worry about the, you know, gooking. Okay. Oops. All right. So now I'm going to work my way all the way around with the E6000. Just gluing, and I need five rows on the bottom. I've kind of changed my design, so... I'll let you see what and I And here is the finished look, guys. I'm all finished. I decided not to do the entire lampshade. Um, I have enough sparkles for it, 
But I like the look of the, um, you know, split. It kind of matches her walls a little bit. We have a half and half on her wall. And if you see here, it just gives this cone shape, lamp shape, I think, um, a different look. I like it. I'll get a little closer. Now, it's my suggestion that you buy the ones that already have the adhesive on it. It was so much more easier to um, just peel and stick. And that's all I did across the top. I did five rows across the top. Okay, and you see how sparkly it is? It just adds a, a, a you know, a, just a dash of sparkle and glitz and glam. And you know us girls, us ladies, always love the sparkles. So pretty. And on bottom, these, this is the one that I had to glue with my E6000. Love that stuff. Um, I just glued it at the bottom. And I decided to do only four rows on the bottom. So I have five rows on the top and four rows on the bottom. Um, now, as far as wear and tear, this lamp won't be touched. It won't be moved. So I'm sure that this, adhe this, adhesive, this adhesive is going to be fine. Uh, easy for me to say, right? Yeah, but I just like the look. I like the, um, the split because of the cone shape of the lamp. I think it just looks cute. It kind of reminds me of the wall a little bit with the split, the split in color. And uh, we have glitzed out, glammed out a lamp for $1.50. You can't beat it. Now, again, shop what you have already. I already had this, so technically I didn't even have to go and spend $1.50. I could have just re shopped what I had. Uh, but as a result, I glitzed and glammed out this lampshade for $1.50. Let's see how it looks with the light on. I'll try it. There we go. It's a three setting light, but as you can see, um, it really did glitz and glam it out. I like. Thanks for watching, guys. My glitzed out lampshade for a dollar and fifty cent. Bye bye, guys.